Hey butterflies, come with me to shop at Marshalls today. Today I am shopping for household things because my good sis is getting her first apartment. I am so happy for her, y'all. So I decided to come to Marshalls to see what kind of things they had that could match her kitchen theme. But y'all know, when I go to Marshalls, baby, I got to make a few stops because the kitchen things are typically at the back of the locations that I live close to. So I had to stop by by these shoes, which these shoes were kind of like cute. They were man boots and they were only $30. They was kind of cute. They kind of look like those Uggs. And then I was just shopping around. I always stop at the shoes. I have these Tommy Hilfiger shoes that I also purchased from Marshalls in a lighter blue, which are $30. I don't remember how much i paid for them but y'all they was cute y'all these steve madden's baby what are these y'all i'm not a fan of steve madden shoes i don't care how much they cost baby they hurt your feet they even had tennis shoes they kind of had gave me balenciago vibes that's why i picked them up but baby, I don't care how much Steve Madden shoes is. I am not buying Steve Madden shoes because Steve Madden shoes hurt your feet. They just for the look. They are definitely not for walking and, you know, anything past a nice picture. Snip, snip, snap and take it off. Y'all let me know in the comments if you had some Steve Madden shoes and what you think of them. These some more Steve Madden's that they had in a different color. Y'all, they had the Steve Madden. Steve Madden was popping in this Marshall this particular day. Like inventory was locked and loaded. Steve Madden to the rescue. Do you hear me? But that was not my thing. Anyways, I went over to the kids' shoes. I thought these were kind of cute. I don't like to buy one kid something and not all my kids. So being that I couldn't find all my kids something, I didn't get anything i always take a look at the crocs though because my kids love crocs and so do i i went over here through the cosmetic up uh, this mean anyways i went over here through the cosmetic section and i didn't really find much i see some other shoes on clearance i even seen some moccasins y'all if you don't know what moccasins is i didn't show them on the camera but i did lock eyes with them and i love me some moccasins but i went over to the purse section if you know me you know you ain't too much gonna see me with no shoulder bag tote bag none of that i'm more of a backpack type of mom i don't know why i'm like that like if i have shoulder bag handbag clutch anything it gotta be a special event and i just want to feel real girly and tap into my girl era but on a regular day to day get me a backpack which I don't think I see many backpacks in this location. So I moved right along to where I needed to be. But in the process of going to look for kitchen appliances, I seen these real cute organizers that wasn't on the budget. But I must come back and get it because y'all, I love this. Like I am definitely in the next month, maybe in March, I am going to work on organizing like things like in my refrigerator and things like that. Like this egg thing was really, really cute. Like I think this is really neat. And y'all, if I'm not mistaken, it was very affordable. Now my good sis kitchen theme is gold and black. And this was the only thing I found. I don't know how I really felt about rubber thongs. So I didn't purchase them or pick them up. I didn't really see anything else that my good sis might have liked or anything to match her theme. I did see this silverware, but it was plastic. Like, baby, mm -mm. this is my good sis' first apartment, so we will need a metal gold set. These were cute, as I do have some of these at home, but they didn't have no price on them. And, of course, they're not her theme colors, so we just move right along. So, y'all, I went down to Candle Eye. I did not pick up any of their candles. I didn't smell any, but I was very excited to see that they actually had a full variety, considering when I came during the holidays, it was very skimp, like skimp, like they had a Bath & Body Works sale, and they didn't. But I moved right along to the kids section and I just continued to window shop at this point since they didn't have what I was looking for. And I am practicing self-discipline and staying in budget. Y'all, Valentine's Day coming up. How they already on Easter? These Easter bunnies were cute though. They were cute. They had some very good decor for Easter. Very unique and different. I'm not really a big Easter person. Like I'm not no egg. Don't hide me. I ain't hiding no eggs. I think about it though.